Welcome back everyone, my name is Anthony and this is Unconventional Aquatics, I hope you enjoy. Welcome back everyone, my name is Anthony and this is Unconventional Aquatics, I hope you enjoy. What's going on guys? Here is the unboxing for my order from Tampa Bay Cichlids. Uh, I got three fish, um, all juvenile size, so we'll see. Um, I had to do a voiceover. It was the worst day ever to do an unboxing. My two-year-old was throwing a temper tantrum. My wife was late for work. And I was actually heading out to the store when these fish came when I passed the mail lady going down the road, so I had to come back. But here we go. Tampa Bay Cichlids, always packaged nice. Um, insulated box. And then they're all bagged inside a bigger bag, which also has insulation in it. Now the temperature inside the box was room temperature. Um, no heat packs were needed. I'm on the east coast of uh, North Carolina. And uh, Tampa Bay is obviously there in Florida. They're actually in Riverview, Florida, my hometown. This first fish is a Buco Noto. Um, this is a predator hap. They uh, get very large. I think the biggest recorded was like 16 inches in an aquarium, so I'm excited to see how big he gets, and they get fantastic color. This next one is a rare guy, a yellowhead Chatande. Um, they get a neon yellow head, and then the rest of their body gets just like a metallic silver. And then this last fish is the Reuben, or the ruby, not the ruby red, just the ruby. Um, had a little bit of a tough time breaking his sedative. Um, Tampa Bay Cichlids actually gives their fish a mild sedative before shipping them out uh, just to kind of calm them down so they don't get too stressed out for the trip. But uh, after about an hour, once it wore off, he's doing uh, just fine now. Um, just fine. The Ruby, as well as the Yellowhead, they're, they had no problems adjusting. They adjusted right away. But, um, so I do medicate these tanks. I will show you here at the end of the video what I use and why I use it. Um, I do this every time I get new fish and it's just, uh, it's safe practice. Um, it's kind of a, a rhythm and I just kind of have to stick to it. But yep, this is a basic quarantine setup. 20 long, two sponge filters, heater, that's it, low lighting. And uh, they'll stay in here for probably about four weeks, and then I'll move them to a bigger grow out tank. And here's some close ups. So here's the Buco Noto, you know, juvenile, not showing any color yet, but boy, he will. Then we have the Yellowhead Chitande back there flaring up. Um, he's showing a little bit of his yellow head. And then here we have the Reuben, who is already showing the purple in his face and a little bit of orange up his back looking real good and uh, here's the medications I use um, so I use general cure in erythromycin I don't even know how you say that but um, like I said just a good practice you don't know what your fish could have Tampa Bay Cichlids has very high quality fish so it might be overkill but at least I can sleep better at night um, knowing that I treated for these and then prime and stability um, I always add prime when adding fish and um, stability just I added a little bit just to give my tank a little bit of extra uh, beneficial bacteria um, prime and stability I stand behind 100% they're amazing products if you haven't used them you should definitely try them and um, yeah, that's about it. It's not mandatory to medicate your fish whatsoever. It's just overall, I feel like it's good practice. 
Hope you like this video, guys. Take it easy.